How's it going guys? It's the Crypto Oracle here, and today I'm partnering with Coinergy to show y'all how to enter your first trade using Coinergy's V2 beta. Let's get straight into it so y'all can start trading. Once you've set up your Coinergy account and added a balance in whatever cryptocurrency you wanna trade, whether that's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, US dollar Tether, there's thousands of coins to trade and they're all available on Coinergy. You just set up your API keys and you'll import those balances so you can start trading through Coinergy. Once you have that set up and you have some coin in your wallet, you're gonna to wanna to go to whatever pair you're wishing to trade. You can see right now I'm on Coinbase Pro trading Bitcoin to the US dollar pair. So I can trade Bitcoin for US dollar and I can also trade US dollar for Bitcoin. Now the first step to making a trade is opening the trade panel and that's gonna be this little arrow here on the right. So you're gonna click that if it's not already open and it's gonna bring up the trading and order panel. On the order panel, you're gonna have data. This is gonna show you the order book and what buy and sell orders are already open on this pair on this exchange. You're gonna to wanna to go to trade to make your first trade. You have alerts to set up your alerts and a couple other tools that'll help you trade this coin. But let's focus on this trade panel. It's gonna show up as new order. You're gonna have your pair, so GDAX, AKA Coinbase Pro, and then your first and second coin that you're trading. Next, you're gonna have your account, obviously, Coinbase Pro. Then you have your trade or order type. So it's automatically gonna be set on limit but you can also switch this over to stop limit. However, we will cover how to set a stop limit order in a separate video. Next, you're gonna to wanna to determine whether you want to buy or sell this coin. So whenever it's on the buy side, which is automatically selected, you're gonna be using US dollar tether to buy Bitcoin. Whenever it's on the sell side, you're gonna be exchanging your Bitcoin for US dollar. So next, you're gonna to wanna to determine how much you wanna sell and how much you wanna sell it for, at what price. So we have the amount of Bitcoin that we wanna sell here on the sell side. And a very useful thing that Coinergy has to offer is this little percentage marker. You click on the percentage marker and it's gonna offer options as to how much of your current balance you wanna buy or sell. So let's say I just wanted to sell 1% of my total Bitcoin balance. That's gonna equal about 0.01 Bitcoin. Next, you're gonna to wanna to determine how much you wanna sell it for. So it's automatically setting up our price at our ask or at basically our market price of $9,320. But let's say you don't wanna buy it for $9,320. You wanna buy it for 9,300. You're just gonna select 9,300 and the amount that you're gonna receive for the Bitcoin that you're going to sell is going to automatically update. Now let's say you wanna use prices or values that are preset by the market. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing and go over here where it says ask and you can switch this to many different values, whether it's the current bid, the current ask, the low of the day, the high of the day, or the last trade that was entered and what that price is at. The ask is going to be what people are selling it for. So if you want to immediately buy, you're gonna to wanna to buy at the ask. And then the bid is what people are buying it for or the buy value. So that's gonna be if you're looking to automatically sell your coin for that amount. Obviously the bid is always going to be lower than the ask. So let's say we just wanna sell our Bitcoin immediately. I'm gonna choose the bid price. I have the amount of Bitcoin that I wanna sell. And then down here, it's going to automatically convert that into US dollar that I'm gonna receive from selling this Bitcoin. Once you click on that sell tab, you'll get a notification that your order has been submitted. And then as soon as that order is completed or filled, you'll get another notification that notifies you of that. Now the buy side, or if you're looking to buy Bitcoin with US dollar is going to be just as easy. All you're gonna to wanna to do is first enter the amount of US dollar you're willing to spend. So let's say you wanna buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. Then you're gonna to wanna to choose at what price you're gonna buy this Bitcoin for. So we're gonna go ahead and choose the ask. This would allow us to automatically buy at the current sell price and then it's gonna show us how much Bitcoin we're going to buy using that US dollar at that price, how much are we gonna get out of it. Finally, all you have to do is click buy and your order will be submitted. You will receive another notification as soon as that order is filled. 
Finally, if you make an order, but you didn't mean to, or it's the wrong price, and you wish to cancel it before it fills, you're going to want to go to the bottom tab and click on the same looking arrow. You can actually click it twice to make that screen a lot larger if you want to show all of your past orders. You can see here we have our order that we just submitted, and let's say we want to cancel it, we just click the delete button, click OK to confirm, and our order has been canceled. It's as simple as that. There's no confirmation. There's nothing that's going to stop you or prevent you from getting out of your order if you have to. So that's as easy as it is and all that it takes to set up your first order using Coinigy V2. Please check out my next video on how to set a stop limit or a stop loss order on Coinigy V2 as well. Check me out on YouTube by searching Crypto Oracle or on Twitter at, at Oracle of Crypto. Thanks for watching guys. Good luck trading this week.